Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm finally doing another You Know You Are German Win video. I tend to sprinkle these on my channel every, I would say six plus months. And it's basically me just talking about things that I feel like are very common in Germany and most likely only Germans will know about. And so yeah, with all that being said, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And also, before we get into this video, I wanted to show you guys something. We have some good news. Wait, one second, I have to get it for y'all. I got a very nice delivery in the mail recently, I think like a few days ago, and I wanted to do an unboxing for here on YouTube, but it went in the hoses, so I just uploaded it on Patreon because it did not go the way that I planned. <laughs> For it to go and it is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. I'll try to insert a picture so you guys can see what it says because I don't think you can see it from here but this is my plaque you guys. It says presented to Haley Alexis for passing 100,000 subscribers and I'm so happy. I was expecting it to come a lot later. Um, it was supposed to come they said in like six weeks and it came I think in less than 14 days and so it was a pleasant surprise. Uh, I don't know where to put it. I said I was going to hang it in my bathroom but I really think it looks nice back there for everyone to see and so yeah a lot of people were upset when I said thank you in my previous video for getting me to 100,000 subscribers and they were like you don't have your 100,000 play button yet you shouldn't say congrats nations until you have your play button. Well here it is. We, me, myself and I have it and yeah thank you for <laughs> supporting me on YouTube. I don't know what I wanted to say with this but I just wanted to show you guys that it's here, it's real, it's not cardboard you guys, it's not fake, I didn't create it you know and uh, I don't know or bought it from Etsy. This is sent to me from the YouTube overlords and so yeah let me put it back <laughs> so the first point of you know you are german when is when you know this woman y'all i think her name is maria mustermann that's at least what i call her she has been a constant big lighter in my germany journey her picture was readily available for everyone to see there are a few people in the lineup that you might come across in germany but she i feel like is the most common i don't know how long she's been here i would say the past 10 to 15 years maybe but she has been here since I've been in Germany which is 2015 to now so seven years this woman has been the face of passport photos in Germany and so if you're looking for like an example for a driver's license or an example of what type of passport photo to take for your visa your residency card you're most likely going to see this woman's face. I'm assuming she's a model and I just find it very interesting that she is the face of German government photo documents. <laughs> So for the next point, it's coming from an American's perspective, you guys, so please keep that in mind because I know that this word is common in other languages as well, but as a German, you will constantly hear the word douche all the time or a form of douche. And for an American, douche means I would call it, I'm trying to think of a proper way to say this for you guys without like getting demonetized, vaginal irrigation or any body cavity irrigation. And in Germany, it just means shower. Some people use it for like bathing, but I think the technical definition is showering. And the technical definition of douching in the United States is actually, you know, showering with water or putting water somewhere. But it's also used to mean like cleaning out certain areas of your body. And so a lot of people use douche in the United States and American English to refer to that. And so when you hear it in Germany, when people are just saying douche, 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 and douche, all that stuff on a like regular basis, it's like, what? What is going on here? Like if you don't speak German, you're, you're probably thinking that people are just talking about douching all the time. I mean, and they are douching, <laughs> they, they are douching in Germany. In German they're douching, not the American douching. And uh, this is not turning out the way that I wanted it to. But you guys get what I'm saying. The next point is going to be a funny point. I feel like this could maybe be all of Europe, but it's so common for me in Germany. And it's that when you're walking down the street and it's maybe getting to be sundown, the sun is slowly setting. I'm trying to paint a mental image for you guys. You know, you're going home, it's been a long day, and all of a sudden you hear this noise. 
it is the noise of these rollers, the shutters on your window going down. Everyone knows this noise. It's very loud. It can be very annoying sometimes, very scary if it comes out of nowhere, if people just let them down very fast, very quickly. But it's very interesting to see the noises or to hear the noises that I associate with Germany. We have things like the ambulance or the police sirens. We have things like the glass being thrown into the recycle bins. We have things like the plastic bottle going into the fun machine and being crumpled up. You have things like the shutters. All of these noises are associated to Germany or are associated with Germany for me. So the next point, which I'm just gonna breeze through, it's something that I have observed though, and I think it's very interesting, and it is that you know you are German when your personality does not shine through big ticket items, but smaller ticketed items. I'll try my best to explain this. I'm coming from the United States. I'm coming from Florida. I should say I'm coming from coastal Florida with this point. So it's a little biased, but in Germany I do or have realized that people are quite neutral. I don't know if it's because of laws and regulations. I don't know if it's because of societal expectations and norms, but people are very neutral, meaning you could be driving on the street and all you will see are very neutral homes. You'll be seeing very neutral cars, black, white, silver, maybe throw in, I don't know, a red, a blue, but to where you're gonna have crazy stickers, crazy colors, crazy flags, crazy signs on all of these big ticket items is just not happening like it is in the United States. I have realized though that Germans like to let their personality shine in smaller items like home decor, personal accessories. I'm trying to think clothing is also a big way to show like who you are and what you like here. And I just find it to be very interesting. This could be a lot of other places in Europe, but as always, you guys, I live in Germany, so I only know about the German aspect, but you guys can let me know. So the next point is gonna be something that one of y'all pointed out to me. I'll try to find the comment and leave it here, but a little light bulb went on. I knew this existed, but it never like came to me or made a little light bulb go on until you pointed it out. And it's that Germans have literal translations for locations or their locations are on very interesting locations that have literal meanings. In my previous video I uploaded, I talked about drink markets and I included a picture of one that was called Am Schlachten. Hof, I think is the correct way to say it. And this means on, by, or near, I don't know, at <laughs> the slaughterhouse. To give you guys another example, where I used to live in Munich, my tram, it stopped. There was a literal stop on the tram that said Friedhof, <laughs> which means the cemetery. You would literally get off the tram and right next to you was your grandma Dolores, rest her soul, God rest her soul, six feet under. <laughs> in the cemetery. I kid you not, you could literally turn and just see a cemetery. And it's quite common, it's quite normal. We don't have this in the United States. I don't know if you guys have it in other countries, but I find this to be hilarious. I also find it to be a little ironic that Friedhof means cemetery because when I first got to Germany, how I translated everything was that I took the words apart and translated them by themselves. So Fried, Frieden means like peaceful, happy, Hof means location, place, Put those together you have like a peaceful happy place technically a cemetery is that but it's a cemetery <laughs> like and i think of death dying so if there's a slaughterhouse if there's a cemetery germans are not shy to say on the corner from the cemetery and their literal names or their literal streets you guys the last and final point is going to be you know you are german with and i i have a, a bone to pick with y'all because this is not correct wait i'm trying to think if, which one is correct because I, I know both and now I'm a little confused because I don't remember which one is English and which one is German. Hmm. Hermione, Hermione, yes. And Harry Potter, they say Hermione Granger for her, Hermione. Hermione, how, see, I've been living here too long that I don't know which one it is. One of them is not correct. It is an English book and in the English movie and in the English book it is Hermione, I hope it's Hermione and not Hermione. Hermione, Hermione. Y'all can let me know how it's pronounced because apparently I don't know. But you know you are a German woman when you say this woman's name, Hermione, Hermione. <laughs> I don't know which way it is, you guys. It's one of those ways. But in Germany, y'all say it wrong. <laughs> And I don't understand why. They like even spell it differently in German. That's the funniest thing is that the names of these people are totally different. I mean, they're not totally different. They just omitted an O and they just put 
H-E-R-M-I-N-E. And in English, it's H-E-R-M-O-I-N-E, I believe. And I'm like, why? What was the purpose? Maybe because it's too difficult for Germans to say it or pronounce the English version because maybe it makes no sense in German. But I just find this to be hilarious and you guys can let me know if you've ever noticed this before. If it's ever, how do you say, come to your attention. If I've taught you something new, hey you guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> That's why I make these videos. But yeah, hope this video caused you, provided you with some laughs. If not, can't help you. Can't help you there. I try my best, you guys. Other than that, um, thank you for watching, you guys. Those were all the points. I'm going now. Say bye to the 100,000 subscriber plaque. And with that being said, love y'all. Bye.